Welcome to Sunday School for the 5th graders. I hope you had a good week. Um, we'll recap what we learned last week. Um, the last couple of weeks we've heard about some of the challenges the Israelites faced on the wilderness after they escaped from Egypt. And we have to remember there were 2,000 of them. Yes. Uh, two million. There were two million, not thousand. Yes. But million is a lot million. more than thousand. Yes. Lots. And a lot more headaches for Moses. <laughs> when there was nothing to eat or drink, God provided the p physical needs of his people. Arguments arose among the people, and Moses needed help to lead God's people. So Moses chose trust trustworthy leaders to help him make decisions. In today's Bible story, we will hear about the Israelites arriving um, at Mount Sinai and the important message God gave to his people through Moses. Listen closely to today's Bible story, The Ten Commandments. All right, and uh, three months after the Israelites left Egypt, they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They camped next to a mountain, and uh, mm -hmm. that was... Uh, the foot of Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai comes into play a lot in the Bible in uh, uh, journeys uh, back and forth and stuff mm -hmm. and uh, with uh, a lot of parables and, and things like that. So Mount Sinai is very important. Uh, it is. Temples uh, were built because of things that happened on Mount Sinai. Yep. And one huge thing that happened on Mount Sinai was God spoke to Moses, and Moses, they told Moses that uh, he was going to take and uh, uh, have a covenant with his people Israel. Mm -hmm. And that first, uh, well, okay, three months after they left Egypt and stuff. So they were in the, in the uh, desert, uh, in the wilderness for 40 years, uh, okay? Yeah. And uh, the 40 years weren't up. They just were there for three months. Okay. And then God... Uh, uh, said he was going to make a covenant to give him a covenant and the covenant was the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. You obey these perfectly and then you will go to heaven. You will be my people and uh, mm -hmm. There'll be nothing wrong so uh, The uh, Moses gathered his people and uh, he went up onto the mountain and then God gave Moses the Ten Commandments the first four commandments told the, told the Israelites that it looks uh, like uh, what it looks like to have a right relationship with God. Do not have any God, other gods before me. Do, uh, don't make idols and worship uh, them for yourself there. Do not misuse my name. And remember uh, the holy day. It was six days that he worked uh, creating the earth and the seventh day he rest. Seventh so, day, yeah. And that was the Sabbath day the seventh day and that was the Sabbath day so people are supposed to rest even collecting the manna and mm -hmm. stuff they collected so uh, the other six commandments told the Israelites what it looks like to have a right relationship with each other you must honor your father and mother you must not murder you must keep your marriage promise you uh, must not steal must not lie you must uh, not want what belongs to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And Moses was on the mountain for 40 days. And wow. uh, he was in the presence of God. And God, uh, well, uh, doesn't say in the story here, but when he came off the mountain, he glowed. He was just yes, uh, uh, like his face was on fire, like he was on fire. Mm -hmm. But uh, God gave him two stones, uh, stone tablets uh, that he had written. God had written with his, well, Moses wrote down with his own finger and stuff, and it etched into the stone, and these were the uh, Ten Commandments. Uh, God's connection here, Christ's connection, God is holy and separate from sin. He, uh, his law shows us what he requires, that perfect righteousness, mm -hmm. and we cannot attain that. We can try and stuff, but we can't attain that. Our sin separates us from God, but Jesus came to bring back, bring us back to God. Jesus is, is perfectly righteous. When we trust in Jesus, he takes away our sin and welcomes us into God's family. All right. So.
so uh, what it is, uh, Jesus spoke, uh, spoke these words uh, to some religious leaders who asked him, which commandment in the law is the greatest? And uh, as we saw in our story today, all the laws of God uh, that God gave depend on two commands. The first four, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. The second uh, part, the six of them, love your neighbors as yourself. Uh, uh, it is very hard to memorize all the rules that uh, God told Moses because there were more than just the ten. Yes. And, uh, but these are the ten major ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, God gave rules to show how to love him and others. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, one Psalm, uh, Psalm 96, mm -hmm. verse 9, everyone on earth now tremble and worship the Lord, majestic and holy. Mm -hmm. So this is why we take and uh, honor and uh, uh, pray to God through Jesus and stuff. Yes. For uh, for forgiveness and things. Uh -huh. Then we got some journals to do, I guess. Yes. I think. So uh, read Exodus 19 through 20, those two chapters, and um, touch on Matthew and Psalms, and read over the storyline, and then go over the questions um, for the journal page. Um, what does the story teach me about God or the gospel? And this is pure law, yes. pure uh, Old Testament. What does it teach me about our, ourselves? Um, Jesus will cleanse us from our sins. Okay. And th are there any promises in the story to remember? And how do they help me trust and love God? And then uh, family discussions and stuff. What is that first bullet there? What rules does the family have? Why does your family have rules? Okay, I had one with my boys uh, was bedtime mm -hmm. to keep them on track and stuff. So, and then don't lie because if you lie, then the trust goes away. And that is a big thing, gaining yes. trust from your parents and even with your siblings. So on the other second page, our activity page, it's a little bit long, but um, so coordinate the questions, um, answer the questions, and then coordinate with the key on the top there and that will show you what give you the answers for each of the questions. It's like longitude and latitude. Yes it is. Up and down and sideways. Yes. And yes. then on the bottom it um, gives us the categories of the commandments. So read through each of the commandments and choose which one is for and mark it green. If it's for God. For God and mark it for orange is if it? it's a relationship with others. Other people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is a fun one. I like to do that longitude and latitude. It takes, yeah, it's and very once cool. Once I write something down, it uh, stays with me. Yes. Well, for a longer time, maybe three, mm -hmm. four minutes or something. Anyhow. All right. Good. And this is a very, very important lesson that God gave the Israelites and us the uh, Ten Commandments uh, mm -hmm. uh, rules to follow and government uses the Ten Commandments to write the laws the people laws and they right. and God gave us the rules to show how to love him and others yes and I think that will be that'll be it that'll be it let's close with a prayer yes thank you all right Father God, thank you for sending, sending Jesus to obey all your commandments and to die in our place. We confess that we try to do things to please you, but you are pleased when we trust in Jesus by faith. Change our hearts so that so we uh, us uh, 
change our hearts so we trust in Jesus for our salvation and obey you because we love you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Have a good week. See you next uh, Sunday. Yes.